Man, I had an, that, that new wild turkey rye is insane. But I mean, did is you it like the, it? Is it the rare breed uh, yeah. barrel proof? I love it's it. It's one of my favorites. It but really is. Why don't you like rice? I just don't, I, I don't know if it's the high proof or it's just the flavoring. I just don't get it. I just, I. But even a lower proof rye, you've got an issue. I mean, yeah, it's I not mean, just I've hated everything that we've ever tried. The, uh, no, I like the, the drama. You uh, mean the oh, Midwinter like Night Strand? Yeah, yeah, yeah Midwinter Night right. well, okay. yeah. That's the only one that I, I found that I actually can drink that doesn't just turn my stomach for some reason. I don't know what it is with those ryes. Did you like the Parker's Heritage Collection rye? The heavy char? See, I don't think you did. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. In fact, I don't even know if I've tried it because I, it was so high proof because it was like, what, 130? No, no that one's no. not that high proof. No, but it, but it was more, you, you, you told me you were like, it was just, yeah, it was just, just way too much. Yes. Yeah, it just, it just, I mean, I don't know. when you, when you, Is I want to enjoy. Spice or what? I, yeah, I think it's the allspice. I want, when I drink, I want to enjoy what I'm drinking. And, you know, I, I love hot foods. And I eat hot foods. But the next day. You know what it is. They don't love me. You know what it is? He's wrong. It is. Man, guys, you know what's killing me lately, though, is have you guys played with some of these flavors? I know you're big into this Jameson Orange. Jameson Orange Irish whiskey is amazing right now. I It's probably my new favorite go-to right at this at this, mo at this moment. I probably went through two bottles of that, and I just went and bought a 1.75 liter the other well, day just because it was cheaper than going back and forth to the store. I know that <laughs> we played with it that one night at yeah. your house and doing the show, but... Matt, I mean, like, you killed it with a boatload of people at a party, right? Yeah, we went to uh, an Airbnb, and uh, you sent me that cocktail recipe with yeah. the orange marmalade and the orange Jameson, and we went through an entire bottle of Jameson, and I just made drinks back to back to back, and I'm not a bartender, so I, I'm not used to <laughs> well, squeezing the lemons yeah. and, or the limes and, you but, know. So but, Jeremy should be looking at his worried about his job now you're saying? no no i, I mean, still got a long in, are you coming into the speakeasy now and uh, you know going to take over i got a lot to learn but no i made an entire bottle of jameson uh actually went through an entire bottle of jameson i was making old fashions the night before for everybody oh, based wow. on your recipe uh with black and rye and whistle pig uh rye so how's that black and rye it's okay it's not as good as the original Is that the rye, rye the lightning rye the lightning yeah, yeah. metallica but uh, so all right so we don't do a whole lot with you on camera, but we finally got you. Producer Matt, everybody. Yeah, it's the Producer shine Matt. off of my head. I no. think that's the problem. Well, we but, can powder it. But the whole thing that gets me is, though, is you are one of those kind of guys who want to try all of the, like, the cool ones. Yeah. Like, the Motorheads and the Metallicas yeah. and the Guars. Yeah. What has been the best band booze that you have had? Band. Um, so I mean, I'm talking like, was the Guar whiskey amazing? Because so I've heard it's really good. The Guar is really good. It's kind of got a buttery flavor to it. A buttery. Flavor. Interesting. Really? Yeah. It's now it's I want to try. It. Now I want to go get some. It's, got, it's got yeah. a buttery flavor. It's reminiscent of 1792, but okay. it's it's a little a lot less harsh as 1792 because 1792 can be a little harsh at times okay. for me anyway. Um, now not in the bourbon world, but Kiss has the Monstrum. Which is their uh, their Kiss branded rum, and it well, please is. Please tell me they have cold it's, gin. They do have a cold gin because it's cold gin time again. They have a you cold. Know it always wins. They have a cold gin. They have a Monstrum, and then You're, they have like a out. premium. You're not a Kiss Army person. Fuck no. Oh my god, I'm done with you. You now. know what? Stacy's not either. Neither is producer DJ K-pop, and it really pisses it me off. It bothers me with. I've given up on. Dude, what? There's Stacey one wasn't. song that they have that I can listen to, and guess what it is. Rock and roll night party every day. Detroit Rock City. That's okay, it. Fair. All right. Like I'm not a. I've never. I've just never been a Kiss. It's fan. One of my favorite concerts I've ever been to. Now I like oh. Kiss on. Well, well, I like Kiss when they did uh, Scooby Doo. Thing. Matt's my hero right now because he, he's rocking the Destroyer shirt. So the thing about Kiss is the whole the whole presence. It's the you probably like the Grateful Dead it's too. It's the don't spitting you? the blood and the uh, the fire and the pyro and the right. the makeup and everything. I just don't get it. I'm gonna show my age with this. But thing. I, also, I also was that kid that er, that grew up in the '80s and fucking hated hair music, hair bands. Hated metal or not Metallica, uh, Poison, Poison, and Guns N' Roses, and uh, I couldn't stand that Guns shit. Guns N' Roses. I am a straight up metal. Like if we're gonna do something, we're doing like Slayer, Metallica, you know. So you gore. I love attention. Gore. I love Gore. I, the Gore is probably one of my favorite bands. Well, Kiss is like Gore no, they're light. Not. It is. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're they're but, nowhere but, near like Gore. 
This is coming from somebody who had a record deal in the early 90s. Yeah, so, I, mean, well, I never had a record deal. I just raced motorcycles. and. I mean, it's fine. But, all right, so producer Matt, what does it feel like now to be in front of the camera? Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> all you got to do is talk. Yeah. Well, there is a kid that's uh, gunning for my job, so right. I may he have might, to. Uh... He might be. He might be on camera more, folks. We never oh, know. Yeah, exactly. But um, no. So, all right. Let me ask you this one too. What has been your favorite cocktail that we have made on cocktail. the show? Mm. Uh, a lot of them are. A lot of them are fruity, and I like the fruitier drinks. Uh, I like the Grinch who stole Christmas. Yep, that was a good one. What the hell was uh, that one? I don't oh remember God. that one. I remember that. I remember was the green that. one that I drank. I understand it, but one. I don't remember it. Oh, God, I drink too much. You got drunk that night. I drink too much. <laughs> uh, there was one that had that like night? apple butter on the. Yep. Yes. That that was, was yeah, I remember that, that one. Was that good was good. That's probably my favorite. How about the one that almost killed DJ K Pat? That one was pretty funny too. Marshmallow. Oh, the marshmallow one. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, how's it going? Where she literally dropped to the floor? That was my fault. I, I couldn't read her sign language, and I didn't realize that she was choking. I was looking at her. So, okay, so that's Did a bad behind-the-scenes <laughs> That's a bad behind-the-scenes story. There's always behind-the-scenes things that happen here at the MMA Bourbon. There was a night that producer DJ K-Pop almost died from choking on a marshmallow. Because we did chocolate milk and whiskey one night. Which was incredible. It was, it was and I did brulee marshmallows with it. Yeah, but you did like you didn't do just like little marshmallows. You did like Fucking the, got the size jungle. of her head, marshmallow, <laughs> and, and she sliced like, them in half, but she forgot to chew. She did. I'm and gonna the leave problem that one was alone. though is that we're trying to do the show, and next thing you know, she's dying and choking, and you didn't realize it. Yeah, I, I was looking at her because Craig and I noticed it and started to walk when Matt went over to her. Right. So we did notice it. Yeah, she was like, but oh. you didn't, Matt. I didn't realize that she was she, behind him. Yeah. Because yeah. she was on the stairs. Well, That's he, what she, he, he, think about it. He's got headphones on. He well, can't hear in the head. original set in my basement, DJ we were at K-pop sat, sat on, on the, the stairs. stairs. Right. Matt had a t the producer table in front, and we had the bar against the wall with the TV behind coming down the stairs. So she was behind him and came down off the stairs to the side and dropped. And Craig literally. and I were like, literally. She didn't go all the way down. She didn't drop. She was just like, oh, and then fucking finally got it out. Well, no, she oh. but she wasn't flat on the floor, but she did go right. down. But, oh, you know, in, in, you fairness to, me? in fairness to me, though, <laughs> you know what the the motto is for show business, right? Keep going. Show must go on. Show, show must, must go, go on. Because <laughs> I hate Sorry. to say it, but I'm the one who never stopped. And I did not realize how bad it was until afterwards. So, no, that was a I tough one. <laughs> You did not. You were close. I was going to kick her when she was down, but I was like, eh, better not. Well, you're going to slide some more smoke. Yeah. I can't help it. So, Craig, we, you, we've been here visiting <laughs> Jeremy at the Speakeasy a few times. Yes. Yeah, He's going to be high. You know, it, but i got to give him the address because they got to come see us. 1318 Needring House Avenue in Granite City, Illinois. What has been, though, the thing that you like? I mean, you've bartended with us. You guys have been here a few times. Matt, it's your first time yeah. who couldn't even find his way in the door, which was kind of amazing. It's kind of so, cool. I did get a little lost the first time I came in right. the door. But my favorite thing so far is the drinks have been amazing. And not just amazing, but not outrageously priced. The food is good. Um, I wish she would expand on the food just a little. It's coming. Things. We're, we're, we're going to do uh, that. But other than that, I mean... The atmosphere is cool. It's really laid back. Um, I, I, I have fun here whenever I come. Jimmy, and it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. No, at all. No. I mean, I brought it up. I said it on the show earlier. Um, to me, it's the atmosphere. You walk in. It literally is a speakeasy out of the 20s. Mm -hmm. Step out of the Great Gatsby. The decor in here is phenomenal. It's comfy. The one thing I wish, and we talked about it earlier, because I'm a cigar guy. If I walk into a place like this, I'd love to have a cigar. And it's there coming. is something coming, but this is not a cigar bar. It's a speakeasy. There's no overblaring music. Um, like you down there in Louisville, the speakeasy there, one of them is just ridiculous. Oh, it's so loud. It's not a speakeasy. Is this, say, you walk in, it's a dark decor, do you, dim. I love it. Do you guys even have a music playing? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, okay. We, I couldn't we, remember we, if there is music playing. That's we, how we low play it's it. playing then because yeah. I don't. And right. it's nothing more than background. What's, been, background. Your, what's been your favorite? I like that it's not a party bar. I like that it's not a club. Once you hit a certain age, that's not fun anymore. 40? 40. 
Wow, because that whole birthday thing that's coming up, yeah. That's 40. a Sunday, right? It is, but continue. Go ahead. <coughs> anyway. Um, or is it 50? I it, can't remember. Are you going to take her to Fraser's for her birthday on Sunday? Maybe, I don't know. Well, because It is a quiet, classy establishment where you can have drinks and not be like bombarded by Dude a bunch of overly you? drunk people. A bunch of, a bunch of tweens? Yeah. A bunch of kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, And we don't that's, do shots. Oh we don't God. do shots here. Shots. You can order a pour, but you don't order a shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I yep. just, I can't, I can't do that shit no more. Nope. Mm -hmm. I, so I just can't. It's the too, first time here. Too much. Start talking to about it being a speakeasy in that. Talking to the gentleman at the bar who was comparing it and giving very high ratings compared to other speakeasies he's been in. Mm -hmm. He yeah. loves going, when he goes to the city, he tries to find a speakeasy. And he's from this area. And very high ranking and I felt the same way with it. It's a legit speakeasy. The only oh, there's one, no password. And I say the only other one that I've been to that's been, or the, one of the other ones I've been to that was really, really cool was out in Phoenix and we had to have a password yep. and we had to have, and it was very freaking cool. It was probably one of the coolest speakeasies I've ever been to. This is very comparable to it. Um, again, like I said, the only thing I wish was a little bit more on the food side. And we're going to bring and it to you. And that's just me. Yeah, absolutely. No, we are. I'm a fat kid. I like food. Absolutely. Especially so. when I drink. Well, come check us out. 1318 Needring House Avenue. It is the speakeasy in Granite City, Illinois. So, <laughs> we've had a great night behind the scenes here at the MMA Bourbon Appreciation Society. I am so stoked that you guys get to see these reels on Instagram and all of our other social outlets. Producer Matt, though, how has it been working with us all of this time now? It's been fun. Really? Yeah. Because I wouldn't want to put up with Craig this much. You know, you know, juggling the personalities. Everyone's got their own strength and their weakness. Uh, learned a lot about bourbon. Maybe have developed a little bit of a drinking problem. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, Mrs. It's Fraser. been. Uh, oh, we apologize. You know what? I'm just going to high five us on that one there because that's not the first person we've done that. Darn with. right. So, cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Come join us at the Speakeasy at 1318 Needring House Avenue in Granite City. Guys, I mean, we've had a great time here, but what has been your favorite thing? I mean, you've been here a few times. What is what is your favorite? I can get meth in the back very easy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't think of That's fucking three streets over. <laughs> okay. That's fucking funny. Cut. That's fucking funny. Oh. <laughs> I was going to go with it, and you smacked him and started talking. Because I can't have my fucking bar talking I about know, meth. I know, I'm kidding. Okay, continue. Sorry. All right.